this tutorial, I'll be going over how to look like Aku Aku from one of the best games to ever exist. Uh, 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 <laughs> Crash Bandicoot is not the best. Didn't I tell you all the products that you saved are listed somewhere around the video? And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. Oh my God. I'm starting off by lightly covering my eyebrows using a glue stick. I'm not so concerned about actually covering them up, just more so to make them smooth for the face paint to go over. I'm then drawing Aku Aku's face on my face using an eyebrow marker. And yes, you will look ugly momentarily. For this mask, I'm making the eyes on top of my eyes and the eyebrows above, way above my eyebrows. I'm then going around and filling in with body paint all the base colors on the mask. This includes orange for the eyebrows, yellow for the eyes, orange for the nose and for the mouth, as well as green for the beard and brown for the mask. De colores. Also don't forget green underneath the eyes. I'm now going back in and shading and making the eyebrows more three dimensional using orange eyeshadow. And for all the shading, I'm doing this directly referencing a photo of Aku Aku. Taking that same orange shadow, I'm then also shading one side of each eye. To shade the nose, I'm using red eyeshadow and shading just one side as well as defining the entire thing with that red shadow and then going back in with red body paint to further define that triangle. To give the mouth more dimension, I'm then dividing it up into the four separate sections and shading it using orange. Using a lighter orange eyeshadow and a little bit of red eyeshadow, I'm then shading the bottom part of the lip as well as around the nose. Now he technically only has four teeth in my reference photo, but because I had more room, I also put some extra teeth in there as well. Fill in the center section using a dark red body paint and then blend in black coming from the sides. To define and shade the teeth, I'm then going in using gray eyeshadow and outlining around the entire mouth. To begin to define the actual mask itself, I'm taking brown eyeshadow and drawing in all of the wood grain as well as just shading around the entire mask in general. Also once again, don't forget about the green sections. To make everything pop a little bit more, I'm then going in using black eyeshadow and shading underneath the nose, underneath the eyes, the eyebrows, pretty much shading everywhere. As well as using that same shadow to define the cracks within the mask. To highlight all the cracks in the mask, I'm using tan body paint. And just to make sure each feature is defined, I'm outlining everything in dark brown body paint. And paint everything else black. My feathers are then painted and cut out of paper and they are stuck on using a little bit of Prosade. And here's why they say not to do evil tutorials, because weird stuff happens. Such as the camera moving on its own from your dog's butt hitting the tripod. Your mother coming in the room and scaring the life out of you. For Uka Uka, I'm once again going ahead and covering up my eyebrows. And also, once again, outlining his face on top of my face. For Uka Uka, everything is shifted down. My eyebrows are being drawn over my eyelids and my eyes are being drawn underneath my natural eyes. For Uka Uka, I decided just to shade as I go along. I first filled in his eyebrows using yellow body paint. I then went over that using yellow eyeshadow and shaded a little bit using brown shadow towards the bottom. To get that glowing effect in his eyes, I first put down orange body paint and while it was still wet, blended in some yellow body paint. To define it even more, you could set it using eyeshadow. Fill in the green sections around his eyes. Add his small little nose using orange body paint. Fill in his lips using an orange-red body paint. And fill in his teeth using white. For his teeth, not only are they jagged, but they also are like multi-layered. And to get that little bit of effect where one is kind of behind the other one, I shaded using a little bit of gray body paint and then went in using gray eyeshadow just to define one in front of the other. Fill in the entire center of his mouth using a very dark red body paint.
and then went back in and shaded and outlined the entire center of the mouth towards the teeth using gray shadow and black shadow. As well as shaded the lips using dark red eyeshadow. For the design on my forehead, I used yellow body paint and outlined that using red. And very carefully, divided that using brown body paint. Fill in the bone on your forehead using white body paint as well as the center using brown body paint and highlight it with light brown. To shade the bone, I then used gray eyeshadow. It does not have to be perfect because you're going to be outlining it with black and brown anyways. Once again, do not forget about those green parts. Fill in the entire rest of the mask using brown body paint. To make all the cracks and crevices within his mask, I went ahead and used black eyeshadow in dead cracks and crevices. I then went in and highlighted using tan body paint. I also want to add a little more detail to his lips and went ahead and highlighted them and then also added the cracks using dark red. Now Uka Uka's beard also comes out as sideburns and then a beard itself. I first layered on yellow paint then a little bit more orangey and then a little bit darker even closer to the mask. Once again, paint everything else black. And to add on his side bones, I also cut those out of paper so they'd be more three-dimensional and stuck them on using Prosade. 